Mr. President, before we wrap up this, you know, there is this report, House Democrats, uh, documents that say that nearly $8 million in payments to your businesses from foreign governments, China included, Saudi Arabia, while you were in office. They say Article 1 of the Constitution says you can't accept money from foreign governments while president. Would you pledge to divest from your business in a second term as other presidents have done? So that's what, I, they're, that's what no, they're reporting. I own hotels all over the I don't get free money. Somebody rents a hotel room, et cetera, et cetera. Much money I gave back. In fact, I didn't have to do it. You know, George Washington was a very rich man. People don't know that. In his essentially White House, which wasn't built, but they had an office, he had a business desk and he had a country desk right next to each other. You're allowed to do that. I didn't do it. I put everything in trust. And if I have a hotel and somebody comes in from China, that's a small amount of money. You know, it sounds like a lot of money. That's a small. But I was doing services for that. People were staying in these massive hotels, these beautiful hotels, because I have the best hotels. I have the best clubs. I have the best clubs. I have, the, I have great stuff. And they stay there and they pay. I don't get $8 million for doing nothing like Hunter. I don't get, I don't get $500,000. I don't get $500,000 for doing a painting. It's not a bad idea, I guess, if you can get away with it. When I heard that, when I said there's no way they get away with that, but they got away with that, I guess they got away with it. Now, uh, we have, you know, there was an emolument lawsuit against me where the radical left sued me for that, and I won the suit. And the judge said, they go to his hotels, what's he going to do? There you go. Uh Donald Trump just admitting that he is providing a service to the government of China. He is providing a service to Saudi Arabia, so they're going to pay me. It doesn't matter whether you have a business. The Constitution disallows it. The same document again that Republicans wave around congressional representative, pull it out of their breast pocket and wave it around like a prop. They have no loyalty to this they do not understand it may be. Which again is troubling. How do you swear an oath, a solemn vow to defend and support this document to uphold? This document, when you don't know what's in it, the Constitution doesn't carve out an exception, Donald Trump, for violating the Constitution because, well, he's a business owner. Oh, it's okay that foreign governments fill his pockets with millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. Article 1, Section of the Constitution, it say, says, and no, person holding any office of profit or trust, under them shall, without the consent of Congress, accept of any present emolument, office, or title of any kind, whatever from any king, prince, or foreign state. By the way, Hunter Biden is not and never has been the president.